Okay, this is just a short screencast of um, setting up a spreadsheet for buying and selling shares. Uh, we've done this in class and you've seen stuff like this before, but um, this is just to help you clarify. So I've made this all up, okay? So I've made up uh, the names of my companies and the number of shares I've bought, and now I've got to enter into all this data and write in formulas so that the spreadsheet will work it out for me. You can do this by hand uh, if you want, but sometimes it's easier to play around with the spreadsheet. So you may know that every time that you are uh, want to use a formula or make it to a calculation you have to use an equal sign to do that so let's have a look normally if you're going to buy shares you have the name of the company you have the number that you're going to buy the price that they are then you work out your consideration then you work out your brokerage then you work out your GST and you add them together when you're buying them and if you're buying a whole stack of shares then you'll add the whole lot of them up and put the answer in here so we're kind of looking at doing that now so that's where our final answer is going to be down here so let's just make up a price so let's make out these a dollar twenty two and then four dollars thirty um, and then two dollars thirty and then one dollar eighty beautiful um, you need to uh, put make sure that these are all dollars and stuff but you can do that later I'm just going to do one now and then show you how to do the rest so consideration we want normally when we do the consideration we go whatever's here the number of shares that we've bought and we want to times it by the price of them so we can get Excel to do that by going equals. So now it's looking for a formula. And so I go equals, click on this cell here, B4, and then we go times, which is the star, which is above the eight. So you go shift and eight, so the star thing, times by that. And so that's going to go B4 times C4, which is that one times that one. If we go enter, it gives us the answer. Now our brokerage is worked out on that. So I'm going to say that my brokerage is 2%. So if I go equals and grab that there, and times it by 0 0.02 means that that's my brokerage okay my GST is now 10% of my brokerage so once again we go equals that one there which is E4 times by which is the star again 0.1 or I might even go 0 0.1 so that's 10% hit return it gives me that and my total is going to equal my consideration plus my brokerage plus my GST and we end up we get 1533 it's really cool now these are meant to all be dollars so you can go across there and on the top menu bar on the ribbon there there's under general there's a one that says dollars so if you click on that you can put in dollars there so it's just formatting it properly now we know that this is going to be the same these formulas here are going to be the same for all of these cells in here okay so they're all going to be number times price because that's our consideration etc 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 now what you can do is if you highlight these cells here, you notice that if you come to this bottom corner here, the cursor changes from a solid, or like a, a hollow cross to a solid cross. So it goes black. Drag that down and it will do all the working out for you. When you get a cell that looks like that, it means that you have, it's not wide enough for it. So you can just drag it and it will now make it wide enough. Now we want to add all them up. There's two ways you can do it. You can just go equals that one plus that one plus that one plus that one but a nicer one to do it is go equals sum which is to add them up so it's going to do the sum of all these or you can do auto sum if you want and go enter so you spent 25,000 so if you if you're going to spend 25 grand on your shares that's cool so I'm, I'm going to say I'm only going to spend 20,000 um, so I've spent too much so I'm going to come into here and change this to 3,000 and notice automatically it changes everything through here as well uh, I'm going to change it to 1,000 Oh, I'm still not quite there there. I'll go 1500 there. Oh, there I go. Um, I might go 1600 to see if I can get a bit closer to 20. Oh, no. Um, 1590. Uh, there we go. Oh, rats. So 1590. So don't spend too much time playing around trying to get it right, but that's good enough for me. Okay, so that's my buying done. Oh, oh ripper, that's cool. Now, when you sell them, because you're going to be selling them at different times, the formulas through here, these formulas here, are all exactly the same. The only formula that's different is that one so um, I'll uh, be putting them in there uh, I'll just have to change what formulas are sitting in here so but they're all the same so I'm just going to go like this and copy it so that's control C and I'm going to come down to the bottom here so I'm just going to move down the screen and put it in there and I'll change in here to selling so I know what I'm doing so they're all the same beautiful 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 the only thing that's going to change is this in here notice that we when we buy we add them when we sell, we've got to take away the fees. So I'm just going to come into this menu bar here and go take, take, divide, take, divide, uh, delete it out and go take. And that will change that formula for me. So now it's D4, take E4, take F, uh, D14, take E14, take F14. Okay. But if I drag that down, automatically 
it makes all the changes for me and I can work out whether I've made any money. So let's pretend that these are my share prices here. We've got a dollar twenty-two forty. So my new whoops, these should all be dollars as well. I'll just format them. Beautiful. And so should them. Beautiful. So let's pretend that our shares have gone to a dollar oh one and then two dollars twenty-two. These ones here have gone to eight dollars ninety and these ones here have gone to three dollars or oh, three dollars forty nine. Beautiful. We can then We've now got our two prices there, and we can work out our profit and loss. So you can go profit. Um, you might want to put it on a different page if you want, but I, I like putting them in here. Profit loss, so I'll probably type that a bit better. And just go, my profit loss is going to be what I sold them for, which is that cell, equals once again, because it's a formula. Take away that one there, which is what we bought them for. And we've made a profit of that. Okay, and then you can do tax and that kind of stuff as well. So let's make out we're going to do tax, and our rate is 42%. That's what our personal tax rate is 42%. Um, and this is say six months later. Okay, so I've sold them six months later. So six months later, no discount rule, which means that my tax that I've got to pay is going to be that one times by 0.42. So much tax. So my actual prof is going to be my f that's how much money I've made but I've got to pay that much tax it's going to be that so there you go you can say radio if I buy and sell those shares at that time my actual profits going to be two thousand seven hundred sixteen dollars and ten cents now all you're going to change is six months you might do two years you might do five years so this time frame and hence these prices here will be the ones that will be slightly different Okay, and once again, when you do that, your actual profit will change. And all you have to do is copy that spreadsheet again and do the same thing over and over again. So once you've got it once, you can do it multiple times very, very quickly.